Next is the third type of angina which is called as unstable angina. So unstable angina is considered to be the pre-infected angina and it is the most severe form of angina because it is a pattern of anginal pain which is associated with a prolonged pain which is lasting greater than 20 minutes even with a very minute physical exertion or maybe at rest. So whenever you see anginal pain, anginal pain even at rest, anginal pain even at rest or with, uh, or with uh, minute physical activity and the pain which is lasting like greater than 20 minutes. So the anginal pain which lasts greater than 20 minutes even at rest or even with uh, a minute physical activity then such kind of anginal pain is considered to be the unstable angina. Okay? So, unstable angina is a type of angina with a severe fixed multi-vessel coronary artery disease with a disrupted atherosclerotic plaque. So, it is not uh, just that atherosclerosis is only responsible for the development of this uh, unstable angina. So, the most common cause is disrupted atherosclerotic plaque which may progress to a like development of acute myocardial infarction because the disrupted atherosclerotic plaque is responsible for the development of a thrombus and this thrombus blocks the entire diameter of the coronary artery responsible for the development of acute myocardial infarction. So what is the cause here? It is due to multi vessel coronary artery disease multi vessel coronary artery disease with disrupted atherosclerotic plaque is the gold standard word what you need to remember to answer your MCQ. So, it is mainly because of disrupted atherosclerotic plaque. This is the MCQ point. Disrupted atherosclerotic plaque due to the multi vessel coronary artery disease is responsible for the development of unstable angina and this may progress to the development of acute myocardial infarction that is the reason it is called as pre-infected angina. So what is the pathogenesis here as I already told that multi vessel coronary artery disease right as well as disrupted atherosclerotic plaques. So this is nothing this is what is the pathogenesis for the development of unstable angina. So with or without platelet non occlusive thrombi there is a development of multi vessel coronary artery atherosclerotic disease is enough for the development of unstable angina. So in such conditions greater than 90 percent of the coronary artery lumen is compromised. So only 5 to 10 percent of the uh, blood flow is uh, to the myocardium there is a reason it may predispose to the development of acute myocardial infarction. So what are the clinical findings? What are the clinical findings in unstable angina? There will be a frequent bouts of chest pain occurs at rest or with physical with minimal physical exertion. So pain, chest pain at rest. These are the clinical findings here. So chest pain at rest and the pain is prolonged that is greater than 20 minutes of duration and the pain even with minimal physical activity is considered to be the clinical findings of this unstable angina. So this is what is about unstable angina.